Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. This is today's video. So it's a Dogfish Head beer. I bought a um, variety pack from them and I looked and I haven't reviewed 60 Minute proper. Um, I did a live stream once where I had one and it was very old also. So I'm like, you know what? Let's review it. Uh, 6% ABV. This was an early IPA for me that I really liked. Uh, so it's definitely like one of those ones that has a uh, special spot in my old heart. Continually hopped for 60 minutes for an intense yet enticing hop-centric experience. Uh, it has a best before September 2023. It is currently the middle of May 2023. So I'm going to say it's pretty darn fresh. Uh, it doesn't say like hop or hops or anything. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. I got the proper glassware. I'm just going to go all in. I should count it up because I I thought, I go back and forth, and I thought I had maybe more Omegin glasses, but I might have more dogfish head glasses. I, I don't know if that would make for a particularly interesting video, but I kind of want to know which one, because it's one of those two that I have like the most glassware from. Anyway. Proper glassware, it's their IPA glass they came up with like, I don't know, a decade ago maybe. So it's got that like orange amber color, uh, good carbonation. I think this one has a little etching at the bottom. Yeah, it has a dogfish head logo etched into the bottom, which helps kick up some of that carbonation. Um, you know, it looks you know unfiltered basically, uh, where it's thicker, it's hard to see through obviously. I didn't think I poured that aggressive. I got three fingers ahead. Uh, it's uh parts are compact some parts are fluffy a little sudsy looking but not like full-on suds uh yeah barely off white into maybe bone or eggshell that's a beautiful looking beer that is beautiful let's get to the aroma some nice citrus comes through there's some good sweetness on it as well a little floral grassy Mostly orange, a little bit of lemon, I think I'm smelling. Yeah, there's definitely a soft floral quality. Man, it just smells good. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Yeah, that hits the spot. Wow. Because it's, it's like that East Coast style. So it's like inspiration from the West Coast. Not really pulling from what like becomes New England style. Uh, makes me think of beers like Flower Power. Um, the way the bitterness, the like, you know, oh, this beer tastes hoppy. Like that thing with the sweetness, just the, how they're interwoven is phenomenal. Um, it's got like that hoppy marmalade you know, orange marmalade kind of thing. Uh, and again, like just so interwoven, so well done. A lot of ways it follows the aroma where I'm getting mostly orange. It's like orange zest. It's like the West Coasty orange though. A little bit of lemon in there. Definitely a floral somewhat grassy thing and i got more floral than grass in the aroma same thing's happening in the taste the bitterness is lingering it's not too much but again i came up drinking you know back in the ibu wars so to speak so um to me this is definitely not too hoppy excuse me not too bitter i should say you know, look how beautiful that is some nice some nice lacing sticking to the side of the glass still got some carbonation coming up more of that citrus is coming through. A little bit of bread. I didn't get the bread earlier, but yeah, definitely like that's how the malt seems to be expressing itself. Those hop, hard hop candies that I've said before in reviews. Grassy. It, that grassy thing is uh, increasing exponentially upon each sip. 
and it's like this cool hoppy grassy thing um maybe even like a little bit of lemongrass it probably makes more sense better descriptor uh yeah this is this is awesome i love this beer i i've always liked this beer um about 10 years no it was actually yeah it was a not to keep harping on the fact that I'm turning 40 soon, but it was uh, uh, the, my friend Chelsea threw me a surprise 30th birthday. And one of the things we did there is it was like a beer dinner kind of thing. And um, we had 60, 75, 90, 120, maybe that 61 was out at the time. And that's when I, you know, doing it that way, that 90 was kind of the sweet spot for me. But man, this bitterness, the lower alcohol, how this is hitting, it's like super hot outside. I just went outside and like, you know, water, I didn't like water. I did water some grass seed I'm trying to grow and a couple of flowers we planted. And this is the kind of beer that just is quenching my thirst, is very refreshing. Uh, it's just, this beer is doing what I wanted to do in many different ways. Basically a love letter at this point. Uh, have you guys ever had 60 Minute? Uh, if not, rectify that. If you like IPAs and you haven't had this beer, come on. Um, what are your thoughts? Can you, you, you still drink beers like this? Or are you still doing more new school IPAs or whatever? Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.